you. She's very well behaved. So she's like applause for me. Totally. Stop it. But what, what kind of breed is she? She is a cross between a Shih Tzu. She's off. Um, she's bored already. She's like, whatever, I've had my applause. Um, a Shih Tzu and a Bichon Frise. Oh, she's lovely. And together they've created that little look at the state of it. Um, tonight she's on our sofa. Is she allowed on the sofa at home? Is she a diva like that? I'd love to say no, never on the sofa, <laughs> never on the bed. But always. She's everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she doesn't molt, you know. She's hypoallergenic she? and she doesn't molt. Really? Well, we've yeah. got some dog biscuits. Because, oh, have you? Well, we hear that you like a dog biscuit. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I love... That's because... Well, yeah. What? Why are you offering... Uh, because have you, you said before? that you sometimes... I hope... I hope they're edible. I've never eaten one. No, there was a... I was what given... What are you doing? I'm eating a biscuit. Hey, dog, biscuits. It's liver and bacon... <laughs> tripe and haddock. <laughs> They're Some actually quite nice. Right. <laughs> I mean, I was given a dog biscuit that was made of honey and oats. Nice. And it was quite big and shaped like a bone, so I looked quite mad <laughs> eating it. But they were delicious. It was like um, porridge in a biscuit. Nice. Those I'm going nowhere near. No, there's like something in it, like bas bas basil. Too much. Basil? Basil? <laughs> basil? In a dog biscuit? Yes, yeah, my breast going no. to be really good right. later. Right, I'll give them to you so okay. to see I'll whether we can Pe entice Peggy, Peggy, Peggy back to the server. Peggy, what's this? Here we are. Oh, it's oh. going to be crazy. I can thought technology-wise, but I got burgled. Oh. I know, it was awful. I got home one night and I was about, literally, that day, and I thought, no, I'll read it again tomorrow. I was about to send... Um, oh, all right, Peggy. I was about to press send to my agent the whole book, and then I got home that night and... It'd been stolen, including so you literally finished it that morning. Literally finished and the it whole happened thing. that night. Yeah. How do you motivate yourself then to go and start writing the whole thing again? Because was, that's I, just heartbreaking. Honestly, isn't I it? cried. I, I cannot imagine because you know my yeah. sister and I write. I felt ill when I read the, you know yeah. that. It was horrible. I cried for two days. It was, and I felt shame because technology-wise, I hadn't backed up, which I believe is the expression. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought that was just a bit of constipation. I didn't know. What that was. <laughs> So I had it backed up and uh, felt a bit idiotic for that and then cried for a long time and then but writers were sending me messages and going, we totally understand, I didn't feel stupid, you know, other people have lost books and it's yeah. hideous. And then I realised they'd lost, I'd lo uh, they'd stolen my time. Yes. You know, I thought of all those times on holidays when I could have been with friends and... Yeah, but maybe oh. it wasn't the right time for the book. Maybe now maybe. is the time, now, you see. Maybe now is the time. And you do credit Peggy with a lot of your success because she's been a real companion, hasn't she, over the last couple of weeks? <laughs> I mean, it's basically me. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but you're, you're, it's true. I do say in the book how she... She really kept me company during the... I found the writing of my sitcom much harder than I ever thought Lonely? Or, Very lonely. Yeah. I kind of... I wasn't... I'm not a writer that can go sit in cafes. I need to... And I act it out as well as a writer-performer, and that's not great. Oh, I'd, I'd love, love to, to be a fly. I'd love to be a fly in the wall of your house. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. So, yeah, I sort of play around as Stevie and then play the mum and kind of act it out. So it doesn't work for kind of communal writing. Not so, and the, having her, she just sort of brought that community and connection and... Yeah, yeah. Really So where did you guys it. meet? We met on the on the set of Not Going Out, Lee Mack's fantastic sitcom, when I was acting in it. Right. And the costume lady had puppies. Mm. Um, well, her dog had puppies, <laughs> just to be clear. Just to, just to be clear. Just, 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 in case that woman never works in television again. So she had a litter of puppies, her dog. And uh, Peggy was one of them, but she was... She was bagged oh, at the time by Which somebody else. bagged? Well, she was somebody taken. else. Oh, taken. 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 Not no, bagged. not bagged. <laughs> not bagged. <laughs> People will be having nightmares. Oh, look yeah. at the stage. Oh, I've just seen the monitor. Oh, she's so beautiful. Much like her own. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, yeah, so I just spent lots of time in the costume department um, with these puppies. They were just... Can you yeah. imagine the state of puppies? Oh, I can, and I've seen some puppies like this. Oh, they are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. But that doesn't wear... It, it doesn't wear... Peggy's showbiz connections end, does it? Mm. She does have showbiz heritage. Well, she does. She yeah, does, yes. she does, that's right. So, uh, in a section we're calling Whose Dog <laughs> Do You Think You Are? Nice. We're going to take a look at uh, Peggy's family tree. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. So, Peggy apparently had a grandfather with proper showbiz credentials. Yes. Is that right? Yes, Can you confirm right. or deny? Would you like me to name? Yes, who? please. Yes. Michael Barrymore. Wow. Well, see, you say that. What? You say I've that. I've said it in my book. <laughs> well. Might not be right. Really? Yeah. Our research team discovered that Ooh. it was, in fact, Peggy's grandmother 
grandmother. That belonged to Michael, who was called Sprite. She was a bees and freeze as well. Okay, Sprite. Yeah. Right, so it's still Michael's. Still oh, yeah, still Michael's Fine. dog. Yes. But it, I said grandfather, okay. Yeah. Right, I'll have to amend that for the paper. Probably. Right, so then. <laughs> Sprite then. You just had, ruined my book. I know, book. I know. <laughs> You're a liar. Sprite it's then a had a, a litter from which Doris, Peggy's mum, was born. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, Doris then had a fling with a Shih Tzu called Jojo. <laughs> yes. What, what kind yeah. of dog and was that again? A Shih Tzu. Bless you. Do you know, <laughs> oh, thank nice, you. do you know who Jojo belonged to? Well, this is it. Go on, tell us. Jojo belonged to, I hope this is right. It is. Uh, <laughs> Samantha <laughs> Jan slash Womack. Yes, you see. Correct. I don't think that's her full name now. I think she's chosen one of them. Womack. But I briefly forgotten which. Yeah. OK. Um, well, here is a picture of the happy couple Doris and Joe, Peggy's mum and dad. Oh, Beautiful. No. Look at that. Isn't that gorge? And, and, the, and between them, they created They this. did. Well, they created Peggy oh. and all of her little siblings. <laughs> Look. Can you remember the names? Here we go. Elvis, Boris, Gladys, Mavis. And Peggy was Eunice. And Peggy was Eunice, but I then she became Peggy. I quickly changed that. <laughs> Eunice. Eunice. No. Fine on a sort of 80-year-old piano teacher, not on this. Correct. No. no. Now, oh, look at that face. Look at, oh, God. Stop it, John. Now, you spoke earlier about the lady, the costume lady, who yes. might never work in telly again because she'd had puppies, but not really. <laughs> not really. But this is the thing, you see. She yeah. does work in television because she works here at the one show. You couldn't make it up, could you? No. Here she is in our green room with Penny's dad, Joe, and her sisters, Mavis and Gladys. <laughs> Hello, oh. Miss Peggy. This is your family here. This is Gladys, who's now called Rosie. This is Mavis, your sister. So you've got your two sisters. And this is your daddy here, your old daddy, Jojo. And they miss you very much, and they're going to come and see you later. Aren't you, chaps? Yeah? Well... I, I'm, I feel really emotional about that. How, Peggy, how are you feeling? She's like, I don't care. Oh, oh. She's on brand. She's straight to the book. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. She's like, I want my own sofa. Look. She's oh, got her own area. Lovely. Well, Miranda's book, Peggy and Me, is out now. Yes. All right, we've been